Hello everyone, this is Joni with uh, Designs by Joni L. And today I'm going to uh, make a tutorial on um, some jewelry. And um, I think that you will like this. It's um, some things that I just ran into when I was at Walmart. And uh, I thought you might be interested in them. Uh, these, uh, this um, heart that I have here is... Um, a thing that I found they were having that for um, a keychain and I thought that is much too pretty for a keychain and it's way too heavy for a keychain too so uh, I wouldn't want that and a bunch of keys hanging in my car ignition uh, because my husband always told me that if you have a lot of keys on your uh, ring it will hurt your uh, starter and your uh, ignition where you turn it on so I bought these and I thought, I'll just make a necklace out of it. And um, so I think it's going to make a pretty one. And what I have here to put uh, it on is um, a uh, cord that uh, is leather. And um, I cut it so that uh, the necklace would hang 20 inches. And the way I'm going to put it on the necklace, I've gone ahead and inserted it through the hole of the necklace up here. And I just took it where you um, fold it together and come to the center of uh, the cord. And I took that center piece then and stuck it through the hole there. And I'm bringing it through there. I'm going to put it just far enough in to where I can take this leather uh, that I have here and put it back through uh, the uh, little thing that I pulled through the, and made the uh, circle thing with. And uh, then I'm going to make sure that my leather is um, straight and uh, not different shaped or anything. And um, I'm going to take that and just start uh, pulling each side of it. And um, making sure that this goes down against the um, thing that, uh, is a, that uh, holds all of your keys supposedly and everything because there was a circle there for you to put your keys in. But um, when you get through with it, it will look like this. And um, then that will let you build off of the, uh, uh, with the things that you have. So I'm just going to lay that right down here and take the things apart here. And I'm going to start with a spacer. And um, this heart is so pretty. I, it, it really is uh, very, very pretty. And um, so I'm going to, uh, uh, this is just a spacer that I have. Um, I got them uh, at Walmarts too. Um, they have a lot of their jewelry on sale in there. And um, you can get them for just a little bit of nothing most of the time. But uh, they're starting to raise their prices now. I don't know why, but. They are, so um, I guess we'll have to deal with it. But um, anyway, uh, if they keep going on, I don't think that I'll be buying as much as I have been. But um, the next thing that I have is just a round. It's sort of like a coin, but um, it's pretty. It's flat on the back, and uh, it has a little hole there that you can push your leather through. Now, I made a tutorial on um, a leather cord uh, I believe it was yesterday, and uh, I said if you had any trouble getting the uh, uh, leather through your holes of your bead to just take a um, needle, but I forgot to tell you, that's the thing I forgot, was you take a needle, but you put some thread on it, and uh, then you take the needle uh, and with the thread and, and sew it just in the end, just make a couple little stitches in the end of your leather cord and then put your um, needle through the hole in your jewelry and uh, the needle will pull that thread right on through then for you. Uh, my daughter had never seen that and um, she was watching me the other, sometime the other day and um, she said, she saw that and she said, oh my, so she didn't know that. and. Um, I told her, I said, well, you should stick around a little bit more. Maybe you'll 
uh, she she's around me all the time, but she just doesn't do the much of the watching and crafting or whatever when I was doing it. Now she is watching. Okay, and this right here is another little finding. Is I think it's what they call them. It's a little spacer that um, and it has a real little hole in it. But uh, I think that uh, this will go through. Yeah, with just a little bit of work, that'll go right on through, and then that will put some space in between this and your next um, bead that you want to put on it. And um, I love to, I really do love jewelry that is uh, sort of something that you don't have to worry about. That you can, if you got on a t-shirt and a pair of uh, jeans, you can just pull a necklace out of your drawer or out of your jewelry box, wherever you have it, and um, throw it on, and then you don't have to worry anymore. It's comfortable, and uh, it doesn't bother you, and uh, you're not afraid you're going to lose something. So that's the way that I like it. And uh, there's one thing about these um, little uh, flat uh, embellishments. I think that you might have a little bit of a problem. They might start to sort of turn a little bit on you. If you do, just get you uh, some glue and go back here and glue it right where under where your leather fits right uh, onto the uh, finding here, the, the spacer or the bead. And um, I think that that will take care of your problem. And uh, that way, you don't have to worry about it. But that's a, a good thing to know. Just put just a little bit of uh, glue. You can take uh, the Elmer's glue, or you, if you have a hot glue gun, a hot glue gun would work fine. You can just stick a little bit of hot glue on that, and away you go. And it will hold it nice and firm, and you won't have to worry about it. Sort of. I, I noticed when I was putting it on here that uh, they were sort of turning around on me. And I thought, oh, that's going to do that, huh? So that's what I'm telling you about um, putting just a little drop of, a little drop or two will do it. And um, uh, then you won't have to worry about that uh, turning on you, but yet it's really pretty. And um, so um, trying to get this through this hole, I think it's going to be a little more difficult, but I got it coming through there. Then I just run that down right against the uh, last bead that I had. And uh, I put one over here. I build mine uh, both at the same time, both sides, because um, a lot of times um, you can see more what it's going to look like if you build them. If you put each thing on both sides, uh, better than if you put it on one side, because then you're wondering what it would look like with both of the sides fixed. So if you go ahead and do it, you don't have to worry. It just comes right along with you. Okay, and um, th this little heart, I, I really do. I think it is gorgeous. Um, it is so shiny, and um, uh, it makes you wonder why in the world they would be using it for keychains when they could be using them, using them for. Um, uh, necklaces and jewelry so so I put two more beads on there and they are the uh, large hole beads and um, so you'll need something to slip stop it from sliding and to finish the look of the necklace I'm gonna put this one last one on here and um, then I'll put one over here to equal that out and then I'll turn it around like that and um, this way you can um, see what uh, this is looking like. I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised for what was meant to be that little thing right there. What was meant to be a keychain turned out to be a really pretty necklace that um, you could just put on with, um, like I said, a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, or you could wear it with a skirt and a blouse. It, it wouldn't matter. And um, 
I love the way that um, it looks. And um, this really sparkles, This cha the heart does, but I've had my fingers all over it, so um, I really should have wiped it off before I started. Well, I got the back side of it, no wonder. Uh, here's the front side. Uh, I was wondering why that wasn't shining any more than what it was. Here's the front side. There you go. Uh, and it it does, when it's cleaned off, it sparkles um, a whole big bunch. So, um, I hope that you like this, and um, it doesn't take any time to make it, and um, it doesn't take a lot of money to buy the things to fix it with either. And then you have your cord here, and uh, it's going to uh, hang down, uh, like I said, about 20 inches. And uh, because I do like for my jewelry to uh, hang longer. And then you go back here and keep your cord straight, your leather. And uh, make sure that they're turned the same way. And um, just come back here and um, tie a uh, knot, just tie one, just tie it one time, a loop and, and tie it like you would your shoe, basically. And pull that tight, nice and snug. And um, sometimes I tie it twice, but this looks like it's doing so well that I don't think it would need a second loop. But if it does need a second one, then all you would have to do is just tie another loop right over top of this one and do a double knot. But um, uh, in the meantime, I think that that knot right there looks like it's going to stay just fine because uh, it's nice and tight and um, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I've worn jewelry like this for goodness sakes probably 30 years maybe and um, I have never lost any and um, uh, my ties always stay really well and uh, I don't lose any of my jewelry or anything they don't come loose and cause me to lose a lot of things. So um, I hope that you do like this and um, if you do uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed uh, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe because it helps me. Um, you might not know what it does but it does help me in uh, people knowing that um, you are willing to subscribe to my channel and all it means Subscribing, all it means is that uh, you would like uh, to be notified uh, when one of my videos is going to be posted. And that's all you do, and that way you don't miss any of the things that I make. And so far I've had quite a variety of things that I have made. Um, I have made from styrofoam uh, cylinders, um, and it was called a mountain, uh, through uh, boxes, uh, covering boxes, and all sorts of things like that. I have done a large variety. I've done a lot of, deca not a lot of decoupage, but I'm planning on doing more decoupage. Um, I think I'll probably do one tomorrow. But um, uh, I have done quite a few of the things, so I have varied uh, my um, crafting because I think that keeps the crafting fresh for people to... Uh, enjoy because you're going to be doing different things and um, I definitely am going to put some uh, glue on that the back of it that's what I'll be doing the next uh, but um, anyway I hope that you have enjoyed this and um, I will be making another tutorial uh, in the morning probably good lord's will and um, if uh, you like this like I say give me a thumbs up and um, uh, you can have a good day, and I hope that everything is going well for you, and uh, I'm praying that everything will be good for you. So, I will talk with you guys later, and uh, uh, I'll just say good night, and uh, you come back, and we'll craft some more. Thank you. Bye-bye.